In news across America, we're learning more about the deadly mid-air engine explosion on a Southwest Airlines flight. Investigators have found a crack in the engine led to the horrific incident. The Federal Aviation Administration will soon begin ordering U.S. airlines to inspect engine fan blades that have reached a certain number of takeoffs and landings. Well, that incident marked the first passenger death on a U.S. carrier since 2009. CBS 4's Hannah Doba has the latest. Federal airline regulators plan to roll out mandatory inspections of certain engine fan blades, looking for signs of fatigue or fractures. The fan blade, uh, it separated in two places. NTSB investigators believe one of the fan blades in the left engine of Southwest Flight 1380 broke off at the connection point Tuesday, ripping through the engine and sending metal debris into the wing and through a cabin window. They said there's a hole and uh, someone went out. 43-year-old Jennifer Reardon, a married mother of two from New Mexico, was wearing her seatbelt when she was nearly sucked out of that window. A medical examiner says she died from blunt force trauma to the head, neck, and torso. Engine failures like this uh, should not occur, obviously. In the wake of the tragedy, many of the passengers on the harrowing flight have called Captain Tammy Jo Schultz, one of the first women to become a Navy fighter pilot, a hero. She was so cool and calm and put together in, in the face of a crisis. After the plane's engine blew out, it tilted about 40 degrees to the left. 22 minutes later, Schultz managed to land the Boeing 737 safely. In a joint statement released late Wednesday, the Southwest captain and co-pilot expressed appreciation for the outpouring of support, adding, we all feel we were simply doing our jobs. Anadoba, CBS News, New York.